Hey friends! Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I have the first book haul of the year for you. Last year, I was on a, like, not so intentional, but intentional book buying ban. I really didn't buy a lot of books. The books that I mostly received were either my fairy loop books or gifts or a publisher sent. But I like really just was not buying books. I wasn't really going to the bookstore. Even when I went on Amazon, I was buying things that weren't books. So I don't know what it was. I just took a really long break of like that. Uh, anytime I wanted to read a new book, I just borrowed it from my library and I happened to get lucky that my library just had it available. But so this new year started and Obviously I got gifts and I got paid and I was like, I must splurge a little bit and treat myself for making it through this year, this this past year, and just doing well for the past few months. So um, I bought a couple books <laughs> and I was gifted a couple books for Christmas and everything. So I went into Target the other day and whenever I go to Target I do my rounds, I do the whole store, I don't go, depending on it, how much of a hurry I'm in and what I actually need, I'll usually just do a little lazy go around and then I'll eventually get the things I need or want or whatever. So the book that I got from there, well I got two books, but the first one I got was Cold War, Cold World by, no, With Love from Cold World by Alicia Thompson. So this is the same lady who did Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I still haven't read that book and I really want to because it looks hilarious. But then I think this one involves like vampires or something. So I bought this as well because I actually really love this cover as much as I love the other one as well. And I just figured I'll just get both of them and then hope that I like them. Next, I also got um, Volume 5 of Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. This one I knew I was going to love. I just wanted to finally complete my collection. Um, so I just went ahead and snagged it since it was there. And it was 20% off. And yay! I'm like so sad that this is over. But at the same time, like... I love this world so much and I just love the TV show. If you haven't seen the TV show, I encourage you to check it out because it's just like serotonin. I don't know how else to describe it. Like it's so sweet, but it's like not overly sweet where it's like overly positive or anything like that. But it's like sweet to where it's like wholesome. So the next book I got was Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Um, I've seen people talking about this book, which is why I added it to my list, and then I kind of just bought it. I think I read the synopsis originally when I added it to my list, and then I just forgot it. But I think it's a fantasy romance. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go in with, like, the l most lack of knowledge I can. Alright, next I have Tilly in Technicolor by Maisie Eddings. I read her dentistry book. I forgot what it's called. I wanted to pick this up because honestly it was the cover that drew me in. It just was so pretty and I think this is about a girl who loves photography so I felt like the story would be really good too but ultimately I thought this was super super cute. Right. And then next I have The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. Um, this synopsis sounded really good for a fiction novel. It's about a lady who grew up with a really neglectful family and she wants to adopt this little boy and but she doesn't have the financial backing for it. So she joins this competition that's been put on by one of her favorite authors to win some money and hopefully uh, be able to officially adopt the boy and take care of him and stuff. And then finally the last book I bought myself was The Unmarked Witch by Miranda Lynn. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I do. I, again, I don't remember the synopsis of this, but I it's been on my Amazon wish list for a while, which is why I finally decided to go ahead and buy it myself. And I'm assuming I put it on there for a really good reason. So, and then so I received some gifts for some friends for Christmas. So Robin got me Volume Four of My Happy Marriage, um, which is a really cute adorable manga about this girl who grew up in a very abusive household it's taking place in like the taisho era of japan so like where they wear like the um wooden sandals and like 
robes and the men wear their hair and ponytails just to give you like a background description um but this girl she grew up in a very abusive family um and they live in a world where the families have like powers and so um her family is supposed to be very powerful but she was actually the only one in her family born without a power so they think so they treat her like scum and so her mom dies her father remarries it's kind of like a cinderella story almost so when she becomes of age they marry her off to this guy who's like on part of another powerful family and he has like very bad rumors of like getting rid of all of his wives and so when she gets there she actually realizes the rumors are wrong and that he's actually not a bad person and then they fall in love and it's just super cute so i'm so excited to have this so thank you robin i believe robin also got me the enchanted hacienda um which i don't know the full synopsis of this but when i first started seeing it around someone had described it as like encanto vibes almost an encanto vibe fantasy something almost and so that just hooked me because i love encanto and I just wanted to check it out but also this cover is really gorgeous too so that's also what drew me in so I'm really excited for this all right and then me and some friends did Secret Santa and so my Secret Santa was Ray from um, Book My Chronicles and Robin's channel is Robin Reads Ray got me first on rotation by Sherleen Obobi so I don't remember what this is about because I added it to my wish list a while ago but I saw the Black Doctor on the cover, and that's why I wanted it. I believe it's a Black Doctor romance. So that's really why I wanted it. So, excited for this. And then I got the Band Bookshop of Maggie Banks by Shauna Robinson. Again, don't remember what this is about. But it's a black girl in a bookshop, so that's why I added it. I'm probably sure that's a good, good chunk of why I added it to my list. So thank you, Ray, for both these books. And then I did order two extra books from Barnes and Noble they're just not here yet and that's totally fine so I'm just gonna tell you what I ordered um so I did pre-order House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Moss because I want that book to be here as soon as it's released so I can be ready to go I also ordered the box set of the Naturals paperback I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes she's one of my favorite authors of all time and so her natural series is one of my favorite YA series of all time. It's like Criminal Minds, CSI almost. Um, it's but it's more YA centered, of course. So those are all the books I bought um, or received. This is my first haul of the year. I think it was pretty good. I didn't go too crazy, but I think I treated myself enough. So I think I might try like and do quarterly hauls or something. I don't know yet, but. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like it down below. Let me know some books you're excited to pre-order for this year. You're excited to get your hands on for the year. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that down below in the comment section. Leave me an emoji if you're not good at commenting. And if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.